this is a 600 amp amp clamp um nice small small size clamp for a 600 amp for a high amp amp clamp um i like that it does fit in the hand pretty nice it's like perfect size for my hand oh looky there you got the non-contact voltage button on the side here that's pretty neat that's different oh i like how you could turn that from the side here also kind of kind of sticks out some off the edge so you can get a nice um nice grab on it there that's pretty neat min max feature that's awesome if you're an automotive and i'm sure plenty other fields you want the min max feature uh, we'll check the continuity I got it turned here to continuity press the function button see the continuity symbol there okay screen lights up red loud tone first we'll just set it on there takes a second for the light to come on takes a second for the light to come on but the tone is instant That's pretty good. That's really good. Let's see. Right here we have a light. Press it once. You light your entire screen up. Press and hold it again. Turns on the LED light inside your clamp there. It's pretty neat. Oh, faces forward where you're going to be clamping. That can come in handy. 980. 981. Looking good. I wish that light would stay on a little bit longer. 1294, showing 1296. There we go, 1296, 1297. Wow. So there you go. Diode output voltage is 3.263. 3.263 volts. Pretty high. Should light all these bulbs without a problem. 2.282 Dim one 2.525 What happened there? 2.525 1.906 on the money and got a diode here five point yeah i really wish that light would stay on longer 590 millivolts um i notice it doesn't beep on the diode where the ht118a beeps with the diode and i think the smart meter also beeped i can't remember Let's go to capacitance. All right, there's 10 nanofarads. And 99.95 for the 100 for the 100 nanofarads. Here we go, continuity. Looks good, sounds good. I like the audible. That you can hear it and you can see it. I like that. So it takes just a second for the light to come on. But when it does, it's bright. And the noise is instant, the tone, and it's loud. So that's good. 
All right, so we have frequency and duty cycle. Frequency will start here. We're at 10 kilohertz. All right, 10 kilohertz. Eighteen, twenty-four, six, two, one. So we're down to point nine 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 hertz. Ninety-nine hertz or one hundred hertz, five hundred. A thousand jump over here to megahertz and I believe it goes up to 10 Let's see 10 Hertz up to 10 megahertz and plus or minus 0.5 percent plus five digits megahertz two jump up some there's five seven nine there's ten that's what it's rated for let's see how much we could push it past ten it's twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and look it's right on the money too on all these seventeen eighteen 19 look 20 that's double what it says it'll do it's 20 megahertz on a meter that's rated for 10 megahertz i just went 21 there's 21 22 okay this is where we're going to lose it watch yep there's 23 24 25 there's 22 so it looks like it's good up to 21 megahertz well, there's 22 that time. Yeah, we'll call it 20, 21 megahertz. Sweet. Let's check out some duty cycle. Turn this down. Switch over here to duty cycle. Um, change our waveform to square wave. I'm going to do it next way, There we go. Pulse. Pulse width. That's what we want right here. Alright. Duty cycle. So, here we are. We're at 0, 10, 20, 30% duty cycle, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 99.9% duty cycle. Sweet. Frequency, duty cycle. Thumbs up. It's looking good. Looking good. This is a 1 ohm resistor. We've got 1.2 ohms. 66 ohms. And for the 66 ohms, we have 68 ohms and one kilo ohm. Man, that light is really annoying, to be honest. One kilo ohm, we got 998 point. Just about, just about got it. Two mega ohms. Two point zero one five. That looks good. And I'll try the highest one I got, which is ten mega ohms. And ten point two, ten point two four mega ohms. Not bad. Not bad. 
so we'll go ahead hit the min max button there's max and it's going to hold it's going to hold the highest the highest numbers that we see that we get on here see so I'll drop back I drop back down to 450 millivolts it's still holding the 12.63 still holding it until I pass it go up to 18 it holds the 18 I can go back down so that's the max minimum it's gonna hold the lowest voltage so 460 millivolts was the lowest in that time you know what let me and clear that minimum all right we're at 15 drop down to 7 go back up to 23 still holding the 7 7.15 till we drop under it drop under it some more Down to 290 millivolts. Jump up. And it holds it. Still has the max in there. 24.96. Pretty neat. I love that feature. Alright. So this thing's looking pretty good. Guys, it's a nice feel too. This is a really nice size. Um, can't wait to get out there and use it on the car. Usually the high amp amp clamps are the standalone meter amps like this are all big and bulky this goes up to 600 600 volts and 600 amps and it's just it's look at that size it's a really nice size here's a iphone 7 next to it just for comparison and i mean it's basically the size of everything but the clamp really nice size comfortable in the hand looks good I like the color pattern the red on black so here's a b-side low amp amp clamp this one only goes up to a hundred hundred amps also 600 volts though um, that's what I'm saying this high amp one that's a nice small size look at that it's not much bigger than this low amp clamp now, I know Kai Wheats does offer a low amp clamp that I think it looks just like this one. In fact, I think it's HT206 instead of Delta. I think it's Bravo, if I remember correctly. Um, man, it's just such a nice size. You know, you don't want a big, huge clamp. It's, you're not going to be able to get into tight areas. So there you have that. All right. Okay, over here, no matter what, where you're at on the selector switch, it doesn't matter. If you come over here and you hold this button, the non-contact voltage, for a couple seconds, you could turn on and off your non-contact voltage. So we'll turn it on. And let's see. As soon as we start to get close to the screen... The L lights up. As we get closer, the orange screen lights up with an H alerting us to high voltage. As we start to get close, L for low voltage, and then high voltage. See how close we are. Pretty sensitive. I'm not pretty far away right here.
I love this thing. Lucky, you can come help me? A good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Yeah, it's letting us know. I think we're over 3 amps, so it lights up. Orange, 7.2 amps. Should be the same on both of them. Oh, wait, no. 0.37. That 10.3 amps, 8.6, 7. It's a nice little meter, guys. 1.3 amps. I got all of them. And 8.6. There you have it. Hertz. 60 Hertz. There's with the low pass filter on. 8.6. much 8.6 back without the low pass filter we're at 8.7 so it is making a little difference there this is why I love amp clamps so much safer I don't have to disconnect nothing to put it in series with it I don't have to worry about shocking myself I don't have to worry about messing anything up look at that just clamp it on anywhere that 12 amps. Love amp clamps. I hate using like a regular multimeter, the current setting on those. I just I fry the fuses all the time. I just I hate using them. They're too touchy. You have to take stuff apart. It takes longer. Nice meter, guys. Pretty nice meter. Alright, we're out here at the car. I think the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna go to... Should I go to 60 amps? Let's go to 600 just in case. And we're already on DC. And we're going to zero it. We're going to throw it over the negative battery terminal. And I'm going to go start the car. Oh, I want to turn the max on, see if we can catch the inrush current. The high inrush current when we start the vehicle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. 269.7 see I wouldn't have caught that without the min max feature because we turn that off pay no attention to the negative symbol if I turn it the other way you're not going to be able to see it there so you can see 5.4 amps uh, let's see if we can get the alternator current I'm going to zero it all right so we're hooked up to the battery positive side on the lathe that runs all the way down you can see this one here runs all the way down to the alternator so an 18 and a half, 18.6 amps, and it lights up orange. Lights up orange because we're over three amps. Everybody's gonna drive by, right? When I start recording. 
All right, I have the probes connected so we can switch to voltage. It's automatically converts to DC voltage. And you see the battery is showing 14.3 volts. So we have our voltage and our amp and our current off our battery. Pretty sweet. All right, here you can see I'm in the fuse box under the hood. I pulled out the radio fuse and I plugged it into this amp buddy, as you can see right there. Put the amp clamp on the amp buddy. And I'm gonna put you guys on the screen here. And I want you to notice, as I turn the volume up, the amperage is going to go up. As I turn it down, it goes down. And since we're over three amps, the screen's going orange. Pretty neat. Pretty neat, guys. It's a nice little clamp. It's the Kai Weeks HT206 Delta. I like it. I think I'm going to use this one. Whenever I'm not using my oscilloscope and I need an amp clamp, it's nice and small. It's not going to be take up much room. It's a good-looking meter, guys. Feels good. Nice, solid clamp. a good size guys anyway that's going to conclude this video uh, thanks for coming by thanks for watching the videos and this is adam's workshop signing off